Hello from IES Tokyo. As you can see, it's cherry blossom season here, and this is usually the time of year that we'd be welcoming students onto our program and onto our partner university's campus, which uh, has a quite an impressive array of cherry blossom trees. Cherry blossom season is inextricably intertwined with uh, university entrance season in Japan, and we are really sorely feeling the lack of students here this year. Uh, but, I'm very happy to say that there is light at the end of the tunnel and uh, we are very optimistic now that with vaccinations uh, taking place uh, both in the United States and in Japan that we'll be able to welcome students back here in a near future. Life here has been uh, difficult as it has everywhere in the world. I'm pleased to say that Japan hasn't suffered in the same way as lots of our, our friends and colleagues have around the world and, and we're very grateful for that. What I'm really grateful for too is knowing that students will be heading this way again. Uh, we'll be playing our part in changing their lives and changing their worlds, introducing them to many, many new experiences. And uh, that's something we're very much looking forward to. I think personally, I have to say that I'm looking forward to being able to introduce the attractions, not only that Tokyo has, but uh, that we introduce to students across Japan. Uh, we have an exciting new line of field trips and other activities lined up for students so that we can keep them safe and sound uh, even in the post-pandemic world. We're really looking forward to seeing everybody. I'd like to give a big shout out to all our friends and alumni uh, who support IES in so many ways, uh, particularly through scholarships. I know that coming to Japan for me as a student was a life-changing experience. And I know that for many of our students who have had the opportunity to come here to Japan uh, by virtue of the fact that they've had IES scholarships, it's been a similarly life-changing experience. Whoever comes here doesn't go away the same person. It's always a transaction. They leave a little piece of themselves behind in Japan and I feel that they take a lot away with them. So we're just really looking forward to uh, the time when students are with us again and we can uh, show them all the things that Japan has to offer. Thank you so much for all your support. Hi, I'm Satoshi Tsukamoto, the director of student services in Nagoya. Spring has come and a new academic year has just started in Nagoya, Japan. Our partner university in Nagoya, Nanza University, welcomed many Japanese college students in April and you can see many student, students on campus. As you may know, Center for Japanese Studies at Nanze University uses an academic calendar that is similar to many of, U, many of the U.S. colleges and universities. And the spring semester is gonna end in the middle of May 2021. We missed IES student on campus. The COVID-19 hit all over the world, world and Nagoya is not an exception. By now, in Japan, just over 1 million of medical doctors, nurses and health workers got vaccinated, but this is only 0.8% of the total population in Japan. We hope that the number of people who get vaccinated is gonna increase rapidly uh, and I'm optimistically cautious. On average, the number of people who are infected by COVID-19 is about 80 people in Nagoya every day in the past few weeks. Bars and restaurants offering guest alcohol beverages are requ requested to be closed at 10, a. 10 p.m. And even though many people commute and work in the office in Nagoya in the daytime, you can see very few people after 9 p.m. in Sakai and Nagoya station areas that are commercial areas where many shops are located. What I'm looking forward to seeing is IES student on site. Studying abroad is once in a lifetime experience and it literally changes your life in a better way, I believe. 
I myself studied in the United States as a graduate student for about eight years. And that experience changed my whole, whole life. I would like to help IES students understand the complexity and the intricacy of culture and society in Japan and to widen their perspectives on world view. Frankly, I do not know when the pandemic will end, but I hope that you and other college students can study in a country where you want to study in the near future. Hundreds of IES students have studied in Nagoya in the past 20 years, and I really appreciate your contribution to scholarship, IES abroad ambassadors, IES photo contests, and so forth. For prospective students, I look forward to meeting you in the near future. That's all. Thank you for listening to my brief speech.